Hello and welcome to another QT Office video tutorial. Today we're taking a quick look at the inventory page of QT Office. This is the page used to track all of your inventory and we're just going across the, the submenu. This is the page you would use to create and manage gift certificates and coupons. It would be used to import your wholesale and CDS orders from InTouch. You can print a copy of your inventory. You can view the reorder items report, which is based on the don't fall below numbers that you have set or recent sales. And it's also where you would create loaned and borrowed products. These are products that you have either loaned to or borrowed from another consultant. You can also create non Mary Kay inventory items. These are items that you want to track in your inventory and be able to place on an invoice, but they are not Mary Kay products. Uh, they could be gifts or gift baskets that you put together. They simply give you a way to, to create those items for yourself. Moving down, we can see the inventory tree on the left, and these are just category folders which you can expand and find products manually which you can expand and, and browse for products uh, but usually the faster way is to just do a search by a keyword so I'm going to do a search for time wise and now I can see I have a very long list of all of the time wise products that are in the inventory as you can see all of these are not in stock so to limit your search to only show items you have in stock you just need to check this box and now it's only showing items that I have in stock let's try another search so again this is by keyword so it has to be an exact match and it works best if you only use one word. If I tried to search time-wise microdermabrasion, that wouldn't work because I have a registered trademark and a colon in the middle. Now, if I needed to make a manual adjustment to my inventory, I can simply change the number. And once I click outside of that cell, it will update. Then the don't fall below column, this is a number that I would set. So if I wanted to always have at least two of the microderm abrasion sets I would simply put two in that box and anytime my inventory falls below that I can go to my reorder items report and see everything that has a quantity below the don't fall below number that I've set and then finally we have the product history button if I click that I can see a history of every time I've sold that product and every time that it was returned by a customer we're also able to go to the customers page and see a history of everything that customer has purchased or returned. But here on the inventory page, we're just looking at an individual product. So that's just an overview of the inventory page. Check out other videos where we discuss each of these different features in detail. And if you have any questions, you can contact us by clicking the help button at the top of your screen. 